I was always having difficulty sleeping at night, which affected the work during the day because, oh yeah, things kept going around and around in my head. I got diagnosed when I started a new job and because it was during the time of the pandemic and everybody was working from home, ang focus ko lang was just the laptop. Uh, in my previous jobs, I was constantly moving around. So yung, I think yung hyperactivity ko got served by that. So hindi masyadong halata. And I made less mistakes. But because talagang doon na lang ako sa bahay nakafocus with uh, yung laptop lang, wala akong colleagues nakausap except uh, through teams, um, I was making more and more mistakes, having more difficulty focusing aside from the fact that there were kids in the house and though I could close the door, syempre, pumapasok, pasok pa rin sila. So I was getting distracted and that's when um, I got a really um, gut-wrenching feedback from my counselor and um, that really hit me so hard na I decided to check out the ADHD Society because I've heard of them, I had heard of them before and then I asked the like, member ako for that was my first step that was me ako ng recommendation and then I set the appointment with the psychiatrist and true enough when he did the test uh nag positive ako for anxiety and uh for ADHD Ang naging impact noon was and also was joining the support group everything improved at work Kasi, uh, syempre, when I was taking the meds, I was sleeping better. I wasn't as sad anymore. Kasi, syempre, before that, I was always having difficulty sleeping at night, which affected the work during the day because, oh yeah. And things kept going around and around in my head. Syempre, yung, the following day, yung cognitive function ko was highly affected because I didn't have enough sleep and all that. Yeah, and I also found uh, people, a group of people who understood uh, what I was going through. That was I knew I wasn't being judged and all that. So, ang laki no naging impact. And when you have ADHD, I, kailangan mo talaga yung support and and somebody to talk to every now and then who really understands what you're going through. It taught me to really take note of my ideas because. The hyperactivity ko was mostly in in my head. Na I have so many ideas coming in and out, and it's the reason why sometimes na 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 off na na the trail off ako when I'm doing something because may papasok na naman na idea. So I had to learn to actually write things down and then para balikan ko siya for later. And even I, because I'm so forgetful, parang wow idea ko pala to. <laughs> Pagka na pag binalikan ko yung mga sinusulat ko parang wait. Oh, nga, no? Good idea to. I think that was one advantage that I appreciate for is the um, the many many ideas that would come into my head and I would like I would see something and I would immediately connect it to an idea and other people would say wow oh, nga, no? parang hindi ko naisip yung where do you get all your ideas so um no on na iimis ako na parang uh, and dami sa bay pero now I actually appreciate it tapos I write it down, tapos nasusundan ko siya ng konti. I think about all the children in the public schools and all the teachers in the public schools who don't know how to handle it, parents don't know how to handle it, and may not have the means to do research. It's important to reach them. Even my daughter talks about classmates na parang they can't sit still, lagi hinahawakan yung pencil case niya, and some people have resources and some people don't. And I think siguro, if the ADHD society could put their foot in there and really give space to all those kids to flourish, kasi ang dami-dami namang may ADHD who are very successful. And uh, some have become successful because of the pain they had to go through and did themselves. But why not integrated in the schools so that other children are also not discriminated other kids are also aware there that there is such a thing that you know parang hindi nabubuli yung mga bata and all that i think uh, ang haba pa ng, uh, there's a long way to go 
in terms of educating even the teachers. You know, seeing the signs, talking to the parents, and really doing something about it. There's still a long way from that. Pero, um, yeah, that would be a start.